We have got an amazing young lady with an, uh, just an enormous resume of talent in the studio from Lorraine. It's Jacqueline Bradley. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. So good to be here. Well, we're eventually going to talk about your song, Lorraine Proud. But before we even get to this, you are a graduate of what, Lorraine? Lorraine Catholic High School. The okay. late Lorraine Catholic. Yeah, that's not around I anymore. Know, anymore. I know, I know. But I just went back. They have um, a, a, a charter school there now, and I was actually mm-hmm. just in there, and it was great. It's still being used and still a lot of memories. Well, in college, you took, what, opera classes? Yeah, I, I always knew I wanted to do something in music. There was never a plan B when it came to music. So I, I went to college at Indiana University, studied opera there, and then after graduation, decided I was going to write uh, my own music. So that kind wow. of led me to the next the next journey. The so next path. studying opera, you know, we had to take Italian, uh, and all Italian that? German, and French. Okay. Yeah, and sing wow. in all three. And we had it for our senior recital. We had to sing in four languages with English. So you know five different languages in English, and then the three um, singing uh, languages. And then I lived in Holland and learned some Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, now while you were in Holland, you were actually on Holland's version of The Voice. Yeah, you know, so people don't know this, but The Voice franchise started in Holland with a guy named um, John DeMall. And he started Fear Factor, okay. The Voice, Big Brother. I've seen his name in credits before. That's, Have you? That, that sounds familiar. Yeah. 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 So so he started all these reality shows. And who knew they all started in yeah. the Netherlands and no Holland? Kidding. Wow. So you were actually performing on The Voice? I was. I was a contestant, and I the chairs turned around for me, and I had a battle, and I, I had subtitles when I would speak, on the, <laughs> because they let me speak in English. Wow. Pretty pretty cool. We've got international recording star Jacqueline oh, Bradley yes, here. Yes. <laughs> now, aside from... Uh, the, the Voice Holland, you uh, were also in a version of Got Talent over, what, Ireland? Ireland's Got Talent, what? yeah. So after living in the Netherlands, uh, my family moved to Ireland and um, did Ireland's Got Talent. And that was that was a really good experience, too. It was, it, as long as I follow the music, I find I end up exactly where I'm supposed to be, meet the greatest people, like yourself. Oh, get out. Yes. Not quite as impressive as Danny Bonaducci. He came back to the States, went to L.A., working for Danny Bonaducci, former member of the Partridge family, radio host, had a reality show on VH1. Well, that was first, actually. So Danny, I worked for Danny during his VH1 day. So he, this was, what I was in my 20s. Um, I moved to L.A. and I was, you know, trying to make it as a singer, a uh-huh. songwriter, hostessing and I go from hostessing one day to all of a sudden Danny Bonaducci's looking for a personal assistant I went in for an interview first with his wife and then with him and then with his two kids and his two dogs <laughs> and um, he hired me and it was a crazy ride I was going to say it had to be a weird experience because he's <laughs> pretty much known as a loose cannon like both on radio and I'm sure on the reality show it was a crazy ride but you know he was very kind to me. I became best friends with his wife, which helped to buffer things. And um, we, the three of us and his two kids, we traveled um, to England together. We did um, two seasons. I was on the show for both seasons, and it, it was it was a lot of um, stress <laughs> to work for him. But I feel you know feel now I could do anything if you worked for Danny Bonaducci and survived. I guess so. I need to get a t shirt. <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline Bradley here from Lorraine. Now you're back in Lorraine right now to be closer to family. And everything, yeah, right? I have a six-year-old daughter named Roma. Okay. And so I'm back in Lorraine, proud to be back in Lorraine. My father's mayor, Jack Bradley. And so yeah. it's a great time to be there to support him and support all the growth that's happening in Lorraine. And for those who maybe haven't been to Lorraine in a while, there's so much to explore. There are Why new not? restaurants, mm-hmm. a brewery, Basque Brewery is there. There's a brew and stew, which is um, a cafe, Union Town. Great places to eat. The Speak downtown of the devil. streetscape thing the on, on Broadway. streetscape is wow. great. Yeah, so so many things to try. Um, a new hotel, the Ariel's coming. So Lorraine is in a revitalization, mm-hmm. so what better time to be back? And put out a song. So in honor of Lorraine being the international city, yes. you actually have incorporated some internationalism, I guess. Well, you know, I wanted it to be a collaboration and not just me writing and singing a song. So we invited many people from the community. Judge Jim Moraldi plays guitar on it. Um, Jeff Nikoloff, also a great guitar player, is on it. Um, we have Judy Alice, who came and wrote and sang a Spanish verse. We have a gospel choir involved. So there's like 20 people on this this song and just a great collaboration of people coming together for the city and for the song.
song. Well, the song is called Lorraine Proud, and we're going to play it right now. So let's give us a listen to Lorraine Proud, Jacqueline Bradley, and a host of others. Yes. Very impressive right there. Let me tell you, you worked all kinds of stuff about the city right into your song. Yes, That's great. the lighthouse, the Broadway. Yes, a lot of fun to do. Very nice. So aside from writing songs about your hometown, you're also now doing what music therapy? Well, I, I teach voice lessons, and I also do music therapy. Yes. of stuff about the city right into your song. That's yes, great. the lighthouse and uh -huh. Broadway. Yes, it was a lot of fun to do. Very nice. So aside from writing songs about your hometown, you're also now doing what music therapy you're telling, Well, I, right? I teach voice lessons and I also do music therapy. Yes, um, I've worked at university hospitals. Right now I'm supervising uh, Cleveland State students, but I um, spent a lot of time doing music in the operating room. Mm -hmm. And we did a study that was the the largest study in history to bring live music into surgery, and that was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. And even more important than that, we helped a lot of women who were going through breast cancer surgery, wow. bringing their preferred music um, to comfort them at a very crucial time. I'll tell you what, you are one impressive young lady. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so right here, we've got her resume. It's like here, here, <laughs> here. Oh, okay, this is page seven here, and there's eight. All right, here's my resume. Uh, worked at this station for 36 years. Oh, there you go. That's, That's pretty cool, resume. too. That's nah. pretty cool, too. <laughs> hey, no complaints here. Uh, Jacqueline, <laughs> it's so nice meeting you. You have an amazing career, an amazing background, and I can't imagine anything less than amazing stuff well, happening ahead. Being from Lorraine has definitely inspired me to um, be the best I can be, and so I'm thankful to be from th this great area and great, great town. Well, f uh, folks from Lorraine, can they get a copy of that song? There actually is a Lorraine Proud movement through the uh, Lorraine Historical Society, and they just contacted me about doing a video for the song. Okay. So I'm gonna, pr I'll put the song on iTunes. We'll do a video for it, get it on YouTube, so that um, more and more people can enjoy okay. it and feel proud in, in listening to it. If you need any extras for the video, I've done movies before. Oh, too. good to know. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> Jacqueline, so nice meeting you. You too. Great to be here.